Released on September 13, 2021, the 10th Basel Anti-Money Laundering Index showed Zimbabwe scored a 6.78 out of 10, where 10 indicates the highest risk level and has landed in the top 12 of the inevitable list of the high-risk money laundering countries in the world. The list is an unwelcome development at a time the country is working to be removed from the Financial Action Task Force FATF Grey List that is also known as a list of countries under increased monitoring because of strategic deficiencies in their anti-money laundering, counter-terrorist financing and proliferation controls. The Zimbabwe Anti-Corruption Commission, ZAC, is an independent commission created to combat corruption and crime. ZAC chairperson Justice Matandamoyo said, many banks continue to provide the corrupt with the haven to stash their dirty money. This loophole is due to both the overall lax enforcement of anti-money laundering regulations and the way that banks currently undertake due diligence. It goes without saying, that the financial sector is a critical player in the fight against corruption. 29 September 2021, Zimbabwe Central Bank froze the bank accounts of 30 people accused of illegally exchanging foreign currency through mobile phones and social networks. The Reserve Bank of Zimbabwe said in a statement that it identified 30 people abusing mobile telecommunication services and other social media platforms for illegal foreign exchange transactions actions and money laundering. Their accounts have been frozen and they are now banned from banking for two years. They also first being blocked by telephone operators. In February 2022, the Reserve Bank of Zimbabwe Financial Intelligence Unit, FIU, ordered the freezing of bank accounts of four companies detecting money laundering activities. As we carry out further investigations on possible money laundering relating to the funds, you are directed to freeze the accounts of Tranself. Power Speed Investments, Electro Sales, Housestead Brothers, and NB Store with immediate effect, and you shall not process any withdrawals or transfers from those accounts unless with the specific approval of the unit, said FIU. Oh, wait a minute, what is money laundering? Let's start from the beginning. Money laundering is a serious type of criminal fraud whereby illegal money is acquired and turned into legal or clean money. The money laundering process is extremely complex and can involve multiple individuals involved in organized crime or cartels. There are several ways the dirty money can be entered into the financial system. The six most common examples are blending of funds. This process is whereby businesses blend illegal funds with the legitimate takings. This is typically done through cash businesses such as bars, saloons, casinos, car washes as they have little or no variable costs. Invoice fraud. Invoice fraud is the most common technique used by transferring dirty money. Primarily techniques include over invoicing, under invoicing, falsely described goods or services, the phantom shipping where no items have been shipped and the fraudulent documentation was produced to justify the payment abroad. Smurfing. Smurfing is the act of breaking a large sum into smaller and less suspicious transactions below the reporting threshold. The illegal funds are often deposited into one or multiple bank accounts by either multiple people known as smurfs or by a single person over a long period of time. Offshore accounts. London money is often hidden through offshore accounts as this process easily hides the identity of the real beneficial owners and is a way to evade paying of taxes. Offshore accounts are bank accounts opened in a country outside of where an individual resides. Money can be laundered by carrying small sums of cash abroad below the customs declaration threshold. Then, this cash is paid into foreign bank accounts before sending it back home. Aborted transactions. The money is transferred to a lawyer or accountant to hold until a proposed transaction is completed, the transaction is then cancelled and the funds are repaid to the criminal. The second and most complex stage of cleaning debt money often involves the following tactics. Investment into property markets, high-end cars, 
artwork, jewelry, or other highly priced commodities. False invoices with over-evaluation of the value of goods imported or exported into a country. The lender can now enjoy their illegal wealth, believing that the lended money won't be traced back to them. In August 2006, the governor of the Reserve Bank of Zimbabwe launched what is called the Project Sunrise, where individuals and organizations were given a window period of 21 days to exchange old bearer checks for new ones. When individuals wish to deposit amounts of more than 100 million Zimbabwe dollars, equivalent to 1,000 US dollars, they had to produce proof of the source of the funds. Earlier, the governor had claimed that of the 43 trillion Zimbabwe dollars issued by the bank, only 7 trillion Zimbabwe dollars or less than 25% was in circulation in the official financial system. At the end of the exercise, 10 trillion worth of bearer checks could not be accounted for, suggesting that the funds were in the underground markets and yet never resurfaced. It has long been evident that a lot of money is circulating in the informal and sometimes illegal markets, which is perhaps not surprising given the high inflation rate. Whoever commits the offense of money laundering shall be punishable with rigorous imprisonment and shall be liable to a fine. Though anti-money laundering laws cover a limited range of transactions and criminal behavior, their implications are far-reaching.